एवरीवन आई एम प्रियंका एंड यू वेलकम टू माय चैनल द टेरेस किचन टुडे आई एम गोइंग टू शेयर विद यू ऑल एन इजी रेसिपी ऑफ स्ट्रॉबेरी जैम विद टू इंग्रेडिएंट्स यस विद ओनली टू इंग्रेडिएंट्स इफ यू लाइक दिस रेसिपी डू गिव दिस वीडियो अ बिग थम्स अप एंड सब्सक्राइब माय चैनल फॉर मोर सच वंडरफुल रेसिपीज डू नॉट फॉरगेट टू लीव योर सजेशंस एंड कमेंट्स इन द कमेंट सेक्शन बिलो नाउ लेट्स टेक अ लुक एट द रेसिपी सो फॉर दिस डिलीशियस स्ट्रॉबेरी jam recipe we need 800 g fresh strawberries which are washed and dried 500 g sugar so here i have taken 800 g fresh strawberries which i have washed and dried and i have removed the top portion i mean the head portion of each of these okay so we need to finely chop these strawberries now if you have a chopper you can use that too for this So I've chopped all the strawberries you can see. I'm going to transfer this into a pan now. I'm using a non-stick cooking pan. You can use any non-stick or thick bottom pan. Now add 500 g sugar. Now mix the strawberries and sugar well. Within some time of you mixing this, you'll notice that the strawberry and the sugar, I mean the sugar has started dissolving in the strawberries. That is because of the acids which are present in the strawberries. So now this is ready to go onto the flame. So keep your flame at low. I mean keep the flame low at the beginning and uh, let the sugar uh, dissolve completely. So you can see the mixture has become quite liquidy. The sugar has completely dissolved in the strawberry. Now you need to keep the flame medium and cook this for 25 to 30 minutes. After some time, I guess around uh, 10 to 15 minutes, you'll see that a layer of froth has started to develop on the top. You need to remove that. And after around 20 minutes, you'll see the color of the jam will change completely. It will darken. We need to cook it for some more time. It's been 30 minutes and I just switched off the flame. I'll show you that the jam is ready. So take a plate. I had kept this plate in freezer for 5-10 minutes. Just drop a little amount of the jam onto it. Let it sit for a minute. And after that, just move the plate to the right and left, and you'll see that there is a stability in the jam. It will not. It's not runny. And you can see the consistency. This, this is the consistency we are looking for. We don't want it to be very thick. So this jam is ready. I'm going to let this cool and come to room temperature. So this is what the jam will look like after it has cooled down completely. You can see it has thickened. Still it has a consistency which is spreadable and I have tasted this already and it's just so delicious. Enjoy.